Welcome back, fans and supporters of Judah Forever TV and all the citizens of YouTube. I'm just about to do my devotional, uh, but before I do that, I just wanted to say what the Holy Spirit put on my mind this morning. It's just a word about honesty. Honesty. That is the most powerful link or missing link in the whole religious world in all the political world and in, in every world or level of life you can think of but I want to say uh, what honesty has done for me in my life honesty made me come to be honest tell the truth uh, from the time I was a child in Frederickstead Baptist Church in Frederickstead St. Croix, where I grew up, to accept the Bible truth about the seventh day Sabbath. And I began keeping the Sabbath while I was a member of the Baptist Church. And I was about 12 years old when I started keeping the Sabbath, and I did so for seven years while still a member and also became a teacher. They, they sent me to Blue Water Bible College when I was 16 years old to become a certified teacher so I can teach Sunday school with a certificate. That was before I even finished high school. Honesty made me confront my Sunday school teachers, deacons, and the pastor in that church to stop going to that church because they would refuse, they, they always constantly refuse to accept that we need to stop worshiping on Sunday and begin having worship on Saturday from Friday night, sunset, when we normally had our youth meetings, until uh, sunset Saturday night. That's the length of the Sabbath. Honesty made me confront the pastor and just basically listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit who was telling me for years, uh, the last two years or so, come out of her, my people. Honesty made me go to, the next step was to the Pentecostal church where there was a fight between Baptists and Pentecostals about little doctrines, the speaking in tongues, the main thing. Honesty made me accept the gift of speaking in tongues, which is a real human language and not gibberish, not Babylon, not babbling, but the real gift and the spirit of prophecy. So I dwelt among Pentecostals for a good while and I learned a lot. They're, they're very honest people when it comes to scripture and standards and code of living lifestyle. Honesty pulled me out of there because they would not accept the Sabbath either. And they would reject the fact that they're not speaking in a real human language, but actually talking Babylon, gibberish, foolishness, which was not the true gift of speaking in tongues. So I left the Pentecostal movement and I joined, uh, I actually I became non-denominational for a while because I was searching for people that really love the truth and want the truth and were really honest. So because of the dishonesty, I left the Baptist church. Because of dishonesty, I left the Pentecostal church movement. And honesty led me to go to I, I, the Seventh-day Church of God for about a month. And because they rejected um, heaven and women being prophets, uh, I had to leave that body. But I love the music. They're the best when it comes to worship and music. But um, still have doctrines of dishonesty. And then I went to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And there I met honest people and had some of the greatest experiences in my life from about the age of uh, 18 or so. And 
that's the last body of people I was connected to, um, except towards the last f 2016. Yeah, 2016, I joined in with the free Seventh day Adventist movement, which is different, independent from the normal SDA conferences. And honesty made me realize that there's a lot of scripture in the Bible that says that Judah is black, Israel is black, the Nazarites are black, Christ is black, God the Father in heaven on the throne has woolly hair, and he's a black man. And that changed a lot of the theology I was taught and teachings and customs and traditions I was taught all my life. And then it hit me. The Rastafarians are telling me the truth the whole time. We are the real cheap people of the book. We them people. We next. Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of that which follows after. That's Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 9. Honesty made me accept the Apocrypha books. Which James White, Ellen White. Uh, uh, John Andrews, Uriah Smith, all the pioneers of the Seventh Heaven Church accepted the Apocrypha, knew it, memorized it, used it in studies. And honesty made me accept the Apocrypha. It made me accept more fully the Dead Sea Scrolls. And honesty made me come out from all Christianity because there's no Christianity found in the Bible in the Holy Scriptures. Like Christ calls it, the law and the prophets. Honesty made me realize, according to Hebrews chapter 8, verse 10, that the new covenant is not written for Christians. Read the Bible. The new covenant is written for the house of Israel. That might take a while to heal because it hits you so hard. But that's a fact. There is no Christianity in the Bible. Honest, the Christianity came from the Roman Catholic Church. If you're a Christian, you're Roman Catholic. Point blank, period. I don't care if you're Seventh-day Adventist or whatever you call yourself. You're a Christian, you are a Roman Catholic because they are the creators of that religion. Judaism is false. Judaism is wrong, yes. Honesty will make you admit that. It is the scriptures. Is the, 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 the book is right. The people are wrong. And that's what honesty will make you confess. The book is right. The people, the churches, the religions, they're all wrong. So when the Bible says in Revelation chapter 18, come out of her, my people, it's talking about all of it. Because it is only the children of Israel, the Negroes, the black-skinned Negroes that was put into slavery, the transatlantic slave trade, are the real people of the book. And that's who the, all the scripture is talking about. The Dead Sea Scrolls, the Apocrypha is all talking about us. And we are the key. When we resurrect, like Ezekiel says in the book of Ezekiel, chapter um, 36 or 37, when the resurrection of the dry bones happens, that is when the whole world events will change everything. All the prophecies that talk about the end time will begin to occur. Honesty will make you a disciple of Yeshua, not a Christian. Honesty. Honesty will, will pull you out of things and you'll find yourself alone. You'll find yourself criticized. You'll lose a lot of friends. Honesty will make you accept the fact that men are allowed, according to the scriptures, to have more than one wife. And there's a lot of laws concerning that. There's rules and laws. It's a law book. It's a rule book. It's a government book. It's not a religious book. It's a cultural book. The Bible is the truth. The people are wrong. The religions are all wrong. Israel will triumph in the end. That's what Revelation says. Revelation chapter 7 and chapter 14. Israel will preach the three angels' message, the everlasting gospel. Israel. The 12 tribes, 144,000 will conquer all. Until next time, shalom upon all the children of Israel and Judah forever.